to like here or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> and also, let's compare. I was afraid of this move. Yeah, I, w I was planning to kill it. Um, <laughs> okay, but you just said you weren't going to. <laughs> I, I was not. Can we, can we be lazy and just do the estimator? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh no, there's no estimator here. Okay, let's count. Um, I'll do white. Hi everyone, welcome back to the act of battle number six. It's my revenge time. Ryan, are you ready? Are you scared? All right, let's get started. All right, that's the game. I'm gonna take a white in this game. I have to do the revenge because now the record is three versus two and Ryan is leading by one game. So in the previous game, he played very fast. That was, that was his strategy. He doesn't wanna use a lot of time in the opening so that he, he can focus on more on the, uh, the middle game. So I will spend less time in the opening this game as well. Okay, so that's very classic opening. What is he gonna do? Extend? Oh, no. All right, he approached here. All right, so I will take the territory instead. And um, I think one of the reasons why is he plays very fast in the opening, sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> it may depend on uh, who's his opponent. And one of the reasons is when, when someone plays very fast in the opening, um, it kind of gives you or your opponent um, pressure. Like, why? Why am I, why my opponent is playing so fast? Is he uh, or is she so confident about this game, or I'm uh, already behind or losing? But um, I I don't think that's that's the fact, and that's just a kind of the strategy some people like to use. Okay, I think I will. <laughs> Protect the corner first. Take two salt. Take two solid uh, corners first, and then I'm forcing uh, Ryan to take the Moyo style, which is uh, the style he doesn't like. He he's a pretty much a territorial style player. He likes a lot of take the territory first, and because. Um, for territory style players, playing a moyo or attacking uh, situation game, it's kind of risky for them. All right, so now I have two options. I can either pincer on the top or extend on the bottom. I'll extend on the bottom. All right, so in this game, um, each player has 10 minutes uh, 10 minute basic time and after we run out the meantime there are um, 30 seconds five times view your me all right so right now I will have to jump uh, into the moyo so I have to decide whether I'm gonna start from the top right corner or the side or I can start uh, evading here The corner. Since I already have the stone here, I don't want to focus on this side because the stone has already limited the moyo in the lower right corner. So I will, I will be focusing more on the top right corner instead. Mm. All right, I will start invading here. The reason why I chose this move is because uh, I feel like I am a kind of 
more like attacking style. So every time when I have a choices between uh, attacking or um, some other purpose, then I will choose to attack. So even though I'm uh, invading in this situation, but at the same time, this move is kind of uh, giving more pressure on the black group on the left side. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we, we can talk about this move after we finish this game during the game review. I'm sure Ryan won't choose this invasion move. He's probably will play one of the moves in the, in the corners. Yeah. So at this point, I'm going to spend a little more time on here. Uh, this is because at this point, whatever I decide will be quite important for the direction of the game. For example, if I do a knight's move, I'll be attacking white in the right, um, towards the right side. It will strengthen my weak group, but it will also push white into my moyo here on the right. Um, so that's kind of like a general direction to think about. And the second thing is the specific move. So if I want to do a shoulder hit or something, then I got to make sure when white pushes out, I hane and some specific details that things will also work well for me. So. Those are the things that I want to think about right after this invasion. But <laughs> having said that, I still don't know what to do. So let me let me try to figure out the moves. If I show if I do a shoulder hit here, what is white gonna do? White is definitely gonna push out. And then can I hone and cut? Hmm. It feels like a weird move because it has like a elephant. It's it's an elephant jump relative to the O seventeen stone, so it's got that weakness in the middle. So I don't really want to commit to that kind of move. So I'm just going to do a knight's move to press white and attack it. But I definitely don't want white to go towards the right. So after a few moves, I'm gonna have to play somewhere in the Q13 area to gain my territory. Because if I let white, if I enclose white and let white onto my right side, the the influence is not going to get that much potential because of course white has these or all these stones which are very solid on the lower side. So not much potential there. I actually want to do the low one. Because if, if I push here, white cannot play the tiger's mouth, then I could do the peak. Um, but if I push up, then it would force, it would naturally give white a good jump move, which has a follow up. So I feel like the push under should be the correct move. All right, so. I don't know about this attack. <sighs> yep, that's expected. Now if I honey white would probably honey back. And then I guess I wouldn't really have a good move to play. Hmm. It's a difficult decision here. If I extend, then it would just let white do like a knight's move or something. Yeah, I think I'll extend. I think I'm better off just fixing my own shape. If I honey, it would make it would kind of help white make shape. So here, white still has to pick a move to play. And it's not entirely clear to me what uh, White will do just yet, so we'll see what White does. I'm expecting like a knight's move or something to continue towards the center. 
And then, okay, let's let's see what we're gonna do if white plays that. Okay, wow. Um, my predictions have actually been relatively accurate so far, which is like a first. That's if you if you see my other videos, it pretty much never happens. Um, I feel like I want to spend a move here, but then again, when I just do a jump, it's not entirely solid. I'm also tempted to just play a move in the middle here. But then again, it's kind of vague, you know, it's not really gaining much value. It's difficult. I don't want to play a knight's move here though either, because why can that just clamp at f17? Then I wouldn't really defend any territory there, which kind of sucks. So, well... I don't know what to do. I guess we'll just do a jump then. Um, it seems like the natural move since it continues to apply pressure to white's four stones and if white tries to go towards the right then I will attack it if I'm able to make two eyes then everything is fine mm. I should have it Right, I will choose to play the one position instead. Yeah, um, another reason why I played, all right, the first reason why I played this move is because I still want to keep my groups alive and uh, light. Second reason is, let me play this move first. <laughs> I'm not very good at uh, playing and talking. Hmm, there's a weakness here I'll have to fix. Hmm. I don't just want to extend here, that's a very boring move. Ryan's move here is kind of risky. There's a elephant eye if I'm connected. Uh, if I'm connected and later on, I can definitely use this weakness. So that's why I'm, I don't like to play any moves around here because it will help Black to fix the weakness. But if I go here, that's too planned. Um, Okay. I think that's my sentence. So after he responds here, then I will play another jump. Or I can thinking I can I can start thinking um I can start doing something over here to attack his weakness. I don't know if I can. I really want to a tanuki at this point. Hmm. But it's, hmm. it's risky to do it. All right. So right now, all of my weaknesses are fixed. There, there was some Aji over here. Hmm, he might move. That's not 
the move that I expected. I thought he was going to do something in the top right corner. All right, so now it's my turn to invade again. Mm, I'm thinking about invasion approach here. But the question is, after I invade here or approach, am I able to connect my stone? Yes, I think so. Because as we talked about earlier, there's a weakness over here. This shape is called the elephant jump. And the biggest weakness of the elephant jump is the elephant eye. So usually the elephant jump is not very good shape to attack uh, but that's one of the very flex flexible shapes to escape if you're trying to make your group light hmm. here oh, maybe the approach is not that good I really want to play the elephant eye right now. But then it looks like a trade after that move. And black is going to kill this stone, and I will kill this black stone. Um, is that good enough for me? <clears throat> um, I don't think there's any problem for me to connect. Mm. The question here for me is what's the best way to deal with these two groups? The best way, of course, is to connect both groups with some eye space. That's why I didn't play the one space jump. Because after this move, then black will peep. So after black peeps here, then I have to connect. Then I I lost most of the eye space on the side. And it doesn't seem I have many eye space over, over here in this area. So that's why I want to make an exchange move first. And then I can connect. And the question is, what's the best move to connect? Okay. So the two space. Yo yo me. Okay. Yo yo me started. One space jump. So let me see if he has an attach here. <sighs> Ten. Okay. Hmm. I just realized maybe the nice move here works. All right. So there's no connection problem uh, after this move, but this stone is kind of um, uh, halfway dead. <laughs> I would say because then um, black can peep or the kazumi and I have to connect maybe extend and I have to connect then but of course he's not gonna do that right now because uh, there are more bigger moves on the board All right. now I have to make a decision whether I'm going to choose the outside Nine, eight, okay. seven, or take the corner. And obviously, after I uh, tar here, I'm choosing the outside. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, black definitely will take the corner. That's really big move. The question is, should I make this exchange or save this exchange? I think I will make that exchange. That's a lot of points. All right, I'm thinking to invade here. That's actually not an invading move. It's more of an attacking move. Yeah. So let's count the board and see uh, how the territory position is. White has around 15 points in the top left corner. And then have around 15 on the bottom of 30 points. Yeah, that's it. Only have 30 points. All right. Black has 10 points around here, 17, uh, 7 points around there in the lower left corner. So that will be around <clears throat> 17 to 18. In the upper right corner, black has 10, 16. Hmm, that's 33, 34, around 35, I would say. And we haven't counted this area yet. Hmm. So black is pretty much leading the territory right now. And then also, if, if white answers, then I'll somehow go here. If white doesn't, I think I have a shoulder hit here. Um, uh, I don't have the chance to do something here yet. So Byoyomi just started for me, um, better decide things uh, soon. Oh, I really don't want to just extend though, it's just so bad for territory. I feel like I need to though. Uh, Alright, I'll, well, I'll extend. <sighs> because if I Hane, I think white can Hane inside. And yeah, you know, I don't. I don't really have an answer to that move. Um, yeah, whatever. Still, we're threatening this, so let's focus on that. Make sure that things will be uh, things will work out there. That's my first priority. That's my first priority. And oh, man, <laughs> the flow is is um, not very good for black right now. Uh, that's a good move. So this will prevent the uh, shoulder hit in Sente. I don't know. Let's try to attach and... I don't know if it works. If I just blocks first... Uh-oh. You know, if white blocks first, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. <sighs> Tough battle here. She's two overtimes in a row. That's kind of unusual for 30 second games. Um, usually you would want to try to use the overtimes as widely as um, efficiently as possible. And if you use two overtimes in a row, it's 
it's um, a minute and 30 seconds per move, technically. But if... Okay, I, I need to focus on the game. So I was saying that if you use 60 seconds, it's twice, it's going to be more efficient than um, a 1 minute and 30 in terms of per move. Um, I think this works. <laughs> so right now I cannot cut white, but oh, wow. I'm not seeing anything today. Well, uh, I, I know I can't attack. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Uh, okay, let's, let's uh, just think about this for a minute. Exactly a minute. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't have enough guts to uh, push and cut. I push and cut. For one, if white just descends, it's unclear what black will gain from cutting because white will just pretty much just live. And I also have to come back later to protect the cut anyway. <sighs> so I'm actually looking for a more severe move here if white plays like the connection, which is a pretty big move. Um, yeah. I'm making terrible shape here. It's very inefficient because I have to spend another move to connect back and live. But then, yeah, if I just like descends or anything like that. And she does. Ah, <sighs> well, I definitely need to block because your white jumps in. It's not only with points, but it's also life and death for the corner. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a very comfortable end game sente move. Ah. Oh. And then should probably connect. Ah, yep. Same stuff. I'm surprised it doesn't connect though. This connecting is actually better locally and it also puts some more pressure in the corner, but that's not it's relatively small deal. So the problem with all of this, and the reason why I'm really upset about what I did here, is that black is weak now. Um, more weak, weaker, <laughs> more weak, weaker than earlier. So before, white just had an invasion move. White had a, a, a weakness over here, and black could attack this. So now everything is protected on top. I cannot connect back, and white just got the descent in Sente, so white will settle here very easily. So basically, I'm gaining nothing. I've gained, I've gained nothing from this whole endeavor. Oh, I think I see here. If, wow, if Lagatar is white, can actually connect. Is that, is that true? Um, oh, no, no, I can push. I can push. So it's... It's, it's only half as bad, it's, it's 
not it's not too bad. Well, time to live, I guess. Make a few points here. This is going to be difficult. And I don't even have to count now. Then I can probably... We'll probably find out that this is a difficult game for black. Because white just lives so easily here. And we shouldn't discount white's potential on the left side. Right now, even if I have Sente, I have to block... Um, because if I don't, white will, white will clamp inside, so that's also a pretty big territory difference. And now, I'm gonna make the ex <laughs> I'm gonna make another exchange because if I don't, white's gonna Atari. Ugh, this shape is just so inefficient. And not to mention, white is getting potential here also, so I'm really behind. Oh. Yes, that's very big love. I want to play that move too. Oh. Somehow I feel like Black has weakness. Ten. Can I touch? Nine, can I touch? Eight, can I touch? Seven. Yes, I can. Yeah, so I was um, planning, so the purpose of this move is to is, is try to surround black from this direction. If he pushes here, then I can cut, then I created a cutting point and weakness here, and then he has to Atari to fix, then I can Atari and connect. Then I will get some territory on the side. Mm, I knew, I knew it. It's going to do that. It won't make any difference because I have this move and then I get cut. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Ah, the time pressure is really annoying. There's no difference. Connect. I'm brave enough to do this. Oh. <laughs> That's too risky because I still have weakness in the corner. And he probably will play the attach. Oh no, he didn't. Why is he playing super fast right now? That's kind of make me uncomfortable. All right, I have to respond this move anyway. Oh, maybe maybe. Ten, oh. nine, eight. Atari. Definitely Atari because I will have I will save uh, a Gote eye at least. All right, so let's count the board. Uh. What's the difference is between the previous uh, whole board judgment uh, and right now is Black gets some territory on the top and I got some territory on the left. All right, he's aiming to my weakness right here. Hmm, I have a cutting point. I know. I know. Ten. Is this going to move? Maybe it's going to peep here. Uh, oh, he did not peep. Alright, this move really made me want to kill this groove. <laughs> I know I shouldn't think this way because killing is always the least option. 
but is really attempting to do that. Nine, eight, should seven, I, should I, should I, should six, I? five, four. Let's play a sente first, just to be safe, and then we can decide. Don't tell me about the go to me. Oh, maybe about the go to. Oh no. Is it go to? I'll have that. If he can make this as a sensei, then yes, that's go to me. The question is, is, is he going to do that? If he's not going to do that, then I can use... The, oh. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I can't kill this groove anymore. I lost the one move. So I now have to change my strategy. <sighs> that is very sad. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I know he's gonna do that. It's a very big move. Oh, I can't. Oh. I can't forget for myself playing um, such a bad move in the middle of the, the fight. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five.
and my corner is aligned. Ah, oh, it's so painful, so painful to go see me here and and extend. Oh, it's super painful. Feel like some move right now in the center. Last period, last period. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this group. I was too worried. I'm gonna have to haunt in this way. There's no way I can uh, retreat now. I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, there's this peep here, isn't there? Oh, man. I think I completely messed up here. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> because if I connect now, white's gonna tarry peep and then when white pushes through, white's... No time to... <laughs> I don't know if this works. Oh god. I can't connect. I have to... I have to protect... Um. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think Atari is better because of the push here. Okay, we're going we're we're going with Atari. We're going with Atari. No, well, I can just capture directly though. What am I? What am I thinking? I should have jumped. I should have jumped. Oh, what? Not a pee. <laughs> what? Well, I'm gonna have to respond here. I, I can't think of any other way to respond. I guess why get a tar? Oh, why? Why it's aiming for this Atari? This Atari.
Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I can't actually... I can't actually start this call. And... <laughs> I might I maybe I should have connected but of course now it's too late. Um we did get we did gain a lot of territory though on the top. Um the bad news is um we're probably dying here. I'm going to have to try and live. I just I can't start the call. Now. I can't start a call because why can actually if I push on call why can actually end the call by playing here and then there will be another follow up. So I actually can't. I can't start the call. Come on, there's got to be a way. <sighs> and plus, white has too many co threats. Like the honey and connect on the lower right and stuff like that. Anything is a co threat, really. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> well, actually, she give, she's giving me a choice here. I better take it, I better take it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's do a count while evaluating the game. So there's 40 point base territory for white on the bottom. White has about 60. How much do I have? 10. Fifty one, sixty one, seventy one. 61, 61. But, oh, boys, I didn't count any potential here though. For white. Uh, <clears throat> that's a pretty big move. Ten. Nine, eight. 
so when when I Atari here he can uh, he can connect from here to here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. There's 10 points around here. So right now is pretty much a uh, end game. Mm, I need to finish all the sentence. Oh, I think I played the wrong move. Maybe I should connect. Can he connect?
He has the one small to jump. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Ten, nine, eight. Um, I reckon it's, it's pretty big now. Ten, nine, eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing over there. I feel like uh, later on. Maybe there's nothing left I can do. So let's count the board. Black has Eleven, twenty-one, twenty-six, thirty-six, forty-six, sixteen, sixteen, sixty-five. Ten, nine, eight. I can actually pressure this group a little bit. I'm going to try to reduce this territory. Oh, 
I realized something. So if a haunting connect, why would I actually need to fix once once extra? Which means which means what doesn't actually mean anything. Oh, the wedge and connect actually doesn't really get me that much. There's not much end. There's not much end games left. Um, yeah, the wedge and connect actually doesn't even get me any points. Why am I even? Why am I playing this? Oh my gosh! I believe this is a reverse sente four because I have an Atari and attach a B seventeen. So. It's actually bigger than this reverse sente. I don't know why white didn't exchange any of these. I think white should have. Yeah, but anyway, I think we're behind by enough that no matter what we do, it's pretty much going to be impossible to bring this back. It's impossible for me to start the code though. White just has too many more co threats than I do. Like the lower right and just connecting here, blocking, throwing in and all that stuff. So this is like impossible. I haven't given up, um, not at all, but um, I guess that's just the true state of the game right now. Now if I connect, why well, can connect here and no, that would actually leave a lot of problems for me there so that's why I didn't bother to connect after wedging oh man that's actually pretty big that's what that was all sente. But of course, I don't have enough centers. I just played a reverse sente, so naturally, all the other sente moves will go to white. And that's it. It was a good game. I think she played really well. Um, I made that mistake here, I think, hoping for hoping for too much. So that was my problem for this game. There's actually um, not that many endgames left all of a sudden. Uh, it's really hard to gain any points right now here for either player. Um, White was going to push here. Oh no, she, oh, that was such a bad addition. It was like, I was going to be like, called it, but that was a slap in the face. Sorry, I might as well try to fight out the co. Oh, 
actually connecting is just connecting is a cool threat. I didn't even I didn't even see that that was a cool threat. I'm going to try to make some code threads out of nothing because this is indeed a very valuable code but white also has a lot of code threads, like the throw in is such a good one I would actually throw in first if I were white yeah, white can extend Or push here. It's a very comfortable one because the next move I can cut and then I can do a throw in here as well. Actually, second thoughts about the throw in. No, the throw in is not a cool threat because white can play a tiger's mouth. Or an extension move here. So that is um, completely fake Suji. Fake. Fake threat. Um, yeah. I really don't have enough. Actually, I can create some in the lower, upper left corner. I just need some more time to think about it. So this is a free one. And I always have the push here at L15. And of course, we've got the... Actually, I might go with this because if white plays... Uh... Tiger's not here. I would actually have so many more co threats. Okay, no, no, no. What am I saying? If white plays here, white's gonna just make enough territory here that the co is not even gonna be important. Okay, never mind. So white has a lot more. White has the extension, push, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, no, this push is not. Four. Huh. Is white gonna give up on the co? Do we have do we have a chance if we win the co? Because white has um how many more? I'm just failing to get an accurate count here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is the end. Oh, I was just starting to gain some hope here, thinking that I might have a chance to get call me if I win the call. 
Oh, God. I can't believe this is a code threat. How can this be a code threat? Oh my gosh. This is the end. All my hopes and dreams. Down the drain. Good one. Yep, I'm definitely giving up on the throw in because White can just play the tiger's mouth, and the territory loss is so huge that that coca is not going to be worth it. Yeah, I know it's gonna hurt his move. <sighs> One, two, and two more. Two more code threats. Ten, nine, eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Ten, nine.
He should have a Tara here. No, uh, it's, actually it doesn't matter that much. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Can't win the call. So it's going to be very 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 close game game paused 